benefits from working at home, but there are also many disadvantages. One pro is that I get to work almost all the time because I'm at home and I'm just constantly working. The biggest negative is I'm alone all the time. Today I'm gonna to change that. I'm gonna to go to Beta House, which is like just around the corner and it's a co-working space. Is it weird to be wearing a jean jacket with jean shorts? I don't know, my fiance Anne is not here right now and she is my personal stylist and will say yay or nay to anything I'm wearing. So I'm gonna wear it because I don't know if I'm missing out on a really cool street opportunity right now. So I guess I'll judge by the looks of the people on the street that I get today. So this is literally right around the corner from me. I've never been but I'm gonna go check it out today and see what it's like. I have a feeling I will run into a lot of creatives. Um, I don't necessarily like all these places because everyone has a MacBook and everyone seems like they're working, but I don't know if they're actually working or not. Cool, so just left the co-working space. Really cool space. Now I'm headed to the grocery store. I need to get some chicken because I eat a lot of chicken as my main protein source and I run out of it a lot. I'm considering breeding chickens in my apartment because I eat so many, but that would be a mess. Got the chicken. Heading back home now. Ended up getting another couple few things because that's what always happens, right? Back home. Gotta get some songwriting done. Just got some songwriting done. I have an idea that I'm pretty excited about, so that just made my day a whole lot better. Now I'm gonna go out busking with my new cart. That sounds so ghetto. Now I could take the Uban to the busking place. I'm going to the East Side Gallery right now, which is where the Berlin Wall is. It's a really cool hangout spot for people in the evenings to just chill by the canal, drink some beer, and uh, just relax by the sunset after a long day's work. I'm gonna walk there. It's about 25 to 30 minutes walks. It's a really nice walk, and I'll be able to show you a bit of Berlin on the way. To my right is the Berlin Wall and it is the longest part of the Berlin Wall that's still around. They've renamed it the East Side Gallery because, well, they've changed all the pavement on the walls to art, and every maybe 12 feet or so is a new artist, a new graffiti artist or painter that's left their mark on the wall, and the paints stay around for a few months, if not sometimes years. Some of them never leave, actually, because they're so monumental. I was optimistic, but I had a feeling this would happen. And I actually know who this musician is. Her name is Sophie Sutton. She's really good. So I'm just gonna sit tight and wait it out. What happened was Sophie's amp actually went out of power. I ran down, offered her my amp, 
Now she's playing with my app, and I'm gonna take some video. Then uh, I hope to play a couple songs too. I ended up busking. I played for half an hour. Had a little crowd around me. I had people who were dancing, 